everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Ref Guess. Last night, my friend and coworker Trevor Pluth made his on-screen debut as a sideline guy for the Minnesota Twins. I'm very proud of him, but it got me thinking there are a lot of baseball players that have become media personalities in their post-playing career, and why don't we highlight those guys today? Today's theme is baseball players turned media guys. Let's see how everyone did. A Yankee, a Marlin, and a Red Sox. 98 Yankee for eight games. Still got a ring. Still can tell his grandkids I was part of the greatest Yankee team of all time. All-star, 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 MVP. Florida, then Boston. The number five is five. That's a third baseman. Okay, this is not Hanley Ramirez. So third baseman. I have a name already. I just, <laughs> The only downside is he is, I don't think he's a sports media guy. Um, went on to the Marlins. Won a World Series with the Marlins. He tells his grandkids that too. I was part of a fire sale. Wow, made his debut as a Yankee, then went to the Marlins. Mar- Marlin turned Bostonite. This guy was an oh, I'm a MVP, third baseman for the Florida Marlins. This is someone on MLB Network played the hot corner. An often forgotten Yankee and Red Sox. Position player who played third base. This is Mike Lowell. I feel like this is obvious, but I don't have him as being a media guy, but this is Mike Lowell. Like, I'm smelling Mike Lowell. Like, that's that's the aroma I'm getting from this sheet. It's got to be Mike Lowell. All right, he's a good player. We got ourselves a third baseman. Oh, this is Mike Lowell. Get it out of my face. It's regarded as one of Cashman's worst trades. Lowell? Mark Lowell? Mike Lowell? It's great on some of those Marlins teams. Great on some of those Sox teams. This is legendary goatee player, Mike Lowell. Dude, I learned so much from your videos, man. I watch Jolly Ollie videos, and this is win-win. Yeah. Win-win. This is Mike Lowell. And that is correct. I wouldn't have gotten it if I didn't watch your video. That's what you get, baby. One of Cashman's worst trades ever. Mike Lowell, I worked with him at MLB Network. Medium. Schmedium. Schmedium. Mudlum. We got an expo. Fun. Marlin. Outfielder. Okay. Played with the Mets. Of course, Jolly. Of course. I played for a minute. Third baseman. Left fielder. Right fielder. DA. Holy shit, an expo. So this is a third baseman turned left fielder. Career. That's the classic career path. Rookie of the year. Fifth. In 1994 for the Montreal Expos. It was an Expo when he was 20. 20 for the Expos and then the Marlins on the World Series teams. He, no, he wasn't on the World Series team for the Marlins. I almost said Bobby Bonilla, but it's not. Oh man, this one didn't come to me as quickly as I thought it would. 34 home runs for the 2005 Metropolitans. <laughs> 2001 Marlin hit 31 ding-dongs. Um, where am I? Mostly outfield. Left fielder for the Mets in 2005, bro. He went from Montreal to Florida back to Montreal. Look at that. Beast. I got a name already, too. I think. But let's just go through the data. Lots of home runs. Left fielder. Wow. Really long career. Rookie of the year. He was outfielder. This is a really weird career. And TV personality. I don't think that's helping me at all right now. Uh, come on. Who played left field for the Mets? One over home run, 30 home run plateau twice. Media personality right now. What right, Met is on TV right now? But I think Marlins left fielder. I think Jeff Jenkins. I wanted to jump to Carlos Delgado, but he also caught briefly, and he has a lot more major league home runs. Outfielder for the mid-2000 Mets. Man, I'm running out of water in the well, Jolly. Running out of juice. Left fielder, but came up as a third baseman. Rookie of the year in 1994. First baseman for the Expos. This is a really good baseball player. Yeah. I'm trying to think outfielders of those Marlins teams. Juan Pierre out there. I'm just going to guess. Is it Andy Chavez? Reynolds? F's in the chat. I think I'm going to have to. Is it Jover? Gonna have to tap out early. John Bon Jover. Tapping out. Wanna take my time, but I know this guy is a personality. I'm gonna lock in. I'm gonna help your schedule out too. I'm gonna say this is Cliff Floyd. 
Oh, I think this is a guy that I've thought we've gotten before. I believe I confused him with uh, Moises Alou. Trying to see if there's anything that dissuades me from guessing Cliff Floyd, but I, I think this is Cliff Floyd. Oh, I know this is. This guy right here, I worked with at MLB Network too. Very nice guy. Smelt amazing at all times. He is a big cologne guy. Cliff Floyd. Oh, this dude's a stud. Cliff Floyd. Yes. Could hit. Yes, it could. Let's go. Nice. I don't have Boston in my memory for him. That's crazy. Didn't know that was his career. I know that name, but if you told me, like, what position does Cliff Floyd play, I wouldn't. I'd be like, oh, this is Cliff Floyd. Oh, no shit, Kyle. Obviously. <laughs> yeah. Hard time. I'd love to get hard with you, Jolly. I got hard in my hands. Two dance, one hard. All right, long time Atlanta, Texas Cubs. Played last in 2013. 16-year career. Good for him. Called up by the Atlanta Braves. All over the infield. I'm playing all over everywhere eventually. This guy played everywhere. Nine, four, six, HD. Position player. Starts in Atlanta. Plays like every spot in there. Okay, so this guy played for 16 years. Was he, like, this guy had to be, like, a very knowledgeable, he had to do everything, as it says on his positions, because nothing stands out, numerically speaking. Didn't lead the league in anything. Big season with the Tejas Rangers. This is an Atlanta Brave. Not a hard-hitting Atlanta. I was going to say Brian Jordan comes to mind, but he played a lot earlier than 98. Usually I lock in on, like, a team or position. I'm locking in on, like, where does this guy work? That's weird, right? Where does this guy work? Is this guy on WGN or Marquee Network with the Cubs? Is this guy on TBS with the Braves? Buck 49 each with the Cubs, second base. I think I'm going to know this guy at, like from his giant years because this guy, like I'm trying to think of that 2010 giant team. He's an outfielder and a second baseman. I'm trying to think who their second baseman was. Cock shit balls, I mean. Cock shit balls. Give it up. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah. Wait, um, mm, I think I know this. This guy started in 1998 before there were high definition TVs. This is a utility player with some pop. 2008 Cubs, 21 home runs, 87 ribbies, and played everywhere. Uh, ba 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 ba. Like, this guy didn't play 100 games until he was 28. I know who this is, but I just need it to be that guy because this is almost exactly how i remember their career oh he went from the cubs to cleveland i'm guessing this is like a brave announcer of some sort i don't know this, this is a really hard one this is where i say fuck it because it's not coming so i got a name probably ain't right go and fuck it edgar renteria i don't know um harry carey i don't know howdy yeah took trevor plouffe's job as manager of team usa this is mark DeRosa. Oh, this, I believe this is Mark DeRosa. And you'd be correct. Oh, my God. I love Mark DeRosa. <clears throat> okay. Gettable? Uh, based on knowing him, yeah. I just didn't know he uh he played literally every fucking position. <laughs> I did not know that. Super util piece. Well, making it to the end here are two familiar faces, Big Baby David and Talkin' Jake will be squaring off in the trivia round, trying to be the winner of this episode, and that's a very good trivia question. But before I can tell you about today's trivia round, I gotta tell you about today's sponsor, which is Shady Rays. Guys, premium polarized sunglasses. Take on the summer sun with gear built to last. Look at me. Do I look like a smart guy? No, I don't look like a smart guy. And that means that I break my sunglasses and I lose them. But luckily, since I'm backed by Shady Rays, I'm backed by their Supreme Warranty Plan. If you lose or break your sunglasses, even on the first day, Shady Rays will replace them. No questions asked. And there's a great deal going on right now at their website, which you can find with the link down below. If you use code baseball, like JM baseball, you'll get 50% off two or more pairs of premium polarized sunglasses only at Shady Rays. Thank you to them for sponsoring today's episode of Ref Guess. And hey, go get yourself a pair today because summer is right around the corner. Without further ado, let's get to today's trivia. 
There are only two primary baseball commentators right now who won MVPs in their playing career. One AL MVP and one NL MVP. I'm going to give these two competitors three guesses to give me two correct answers. I believe the AL MVP is Justin Morneau. And you'd be correct. So there's an NL MVP. Guy that popped into my mind's close to your heart. I don't know. If, I don't think he has an MVP. Peter Moylan never got one. I mean, how many games do you need to be involved in? Let the league change games. the games. What more do you need? Let's guess Keith Hernandez. Keith Hernandez is correct. All right, nice. Um, luckily, I'll be able to check one of these boxes only because of last night, where my guy Trevor Plouffe made his debut, and in the booth was Justin Morneau. And that is correct. AL MVP stolen from Jeter? No. Absolute but it theft was from be- Jeter? It was his best season. A but. complete fucking theft from the best shortstop of our lifetime? Coor never got that MVP trophy. Should've. God, he should've. I don't think he won an MVP, but if I miss this with you present, I will guess Keith Hernandez. And Keith Hernandez is correct. Let's go. I didn't think he got an MVP. One? I think one. I Uno? think he was the weird co MVP. Oh. Remember that? I mean, no. You don't remember that? To be honest. What year? 79. Yeah, him and Willie Stargell was not tied. Born. I don't remember it vividly. Okay, okay. I knew he was a good ball player, so that's two for two and that's a win. Well, how about that? A perfect game for both Jake and BBD on this fine day. What an episode of Rough Guest this was. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like on the video and subscribe to the Jam Baseball channel so you don't miss a single trivia video. Also, leave a comment for a future Rough Guest theme idea. And hell, we might just use it because you guys are full of great ideas. We love you. We'll see you next week for another episode of Rough Guest.